the cussing Christian? Hmm, kind of an issue, isn't it? Um, I've been saved for a while now, and, and I can tell you that uh, a lot of people I've seen that get saved, one of the very first things that will change is their mouth. Uh, they'll have very foul mouths, and, and they get saved, and all of a sudden things change, and they start speaking differently. I'll show you an interesting verse here. Um, going through the book of Mark right now. Um, Mark chapter 14, verse 66. And as Peter was beneath in the palace, there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. And when she saw Peter him warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And thou also wast with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crew. And a maid saw him again, and began to say to them that stood by, This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after, they that stood by again said to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean, and thy speech agreeeth thereto. Hmm, something was different about Peter's speech. But he began to curse and swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. There's another passage, one of the other accounts, where the, the maid actually says, Thy speech bereath thee. Nor normal or not normal but a way that you'd say it today is your speech betrays you in other words somebody that's saved that has God's Holy Spirit upon them their language is going to be different okay it's very very important to understand that again you know I've, I've gotten in debates with people from Stephen Anderson's camp and they defend the guy using profanity you know telling people get the H out of my church and this guy's a bleep that or whatever and you know, and and his followers they get into my comments, and they're just using all kinds of filthy language and the f word and stuff like this. And I'm going, huh? You know, it's kind of a problem. But you can also go to James chapter three. I'll show you a couple of verses here. I mean, you can go down through a lot of this stuff. But uh, I'll begin here in verse eight. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and there was therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed, proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and better? Can the fig, fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt, water, and fresh. Okay, it kind of goes back to what Jesus would say about the, you know, a good tree cannot bear evil fruit neither can an evil tree bear good fruit so it's a it's a real problem when you see an unchecked uh, thing with the mouth there and you know there's brethren that will just play in borderlands so to speak of what's acceptable for a Christian and they'll call people jackass and things like that and, and you know Dr. Peter S. Ruckman one of the guys that I highly admire but it's always bothered me you know he used it you know, he used the term jackass quite a bit and things and, and said some other things that I would not have said. Um, and, you know, I think that one of the reasons the guy struggled so much with, with uh, fleshly problems and things like that was because of that. He was messing around, and he shouldn't have been. Um, it's something you need to, to seriously think about as a Christian. And if you have no problem at all with profanity... Um, I mean, there are times when, as a Christian, you'll slip up and you'll hit your hand with a hammer or something like that, and a word will come out, and you go, oh, man, you should have a feeling of guilt there. But I just found that interesting, the um, part there about Peter, you know, when he wanted to convince people that he was lost, what did he do? He began to curse and swear. Those are the marks of lost people. Be careful that you don't get confused in with the lost world because of your speech.